Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Sidemen channel for another Sidemen Sunday. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why isn't KSI commentating this? Well, he did. And let's just say it was 2012 KSI. You would have loved it. You're going to die today. Why are you running? Huh? Why are you running? Why are you running? Yes! You are going to die. You are dying to die. You like, it's fucking hilarious, but it's definitely too offensive to survive in 2018, and I'm trying to keep my job here, so I guess you're stuck with me. Shout out to the three of you still watching after everyone else clicked off in disappointment. Anyway, today we've got some six-a-side football for you. Sidemen versus these guys. Your heroes need no introduction. You all know them on this channel. So let's talk about the other team. Working our way from left to right, bottom to top, we have a fitness freak. We have Steven Tries pulling a face that shows you exactly why he's not allowed within a mile radius of any schools. We've got Butterfingers, or Butters for short, either works. Then there's Shapes, well, one shape in particular. Above him, we have Player One. <laughs> I'm sorry. Doesn't he remind you of the default pro you get on FIFA? <laughs> Is that just me? Anyway, to his left, there's Melman, fresh out of Madagascar. And last and near enough least, that other dude from the True Geordie podcast. Vic and Freezy share a moment as we prepare to kick off. And in the middle of the field, we have a clapped dude clapping. Some clapception for you all. And we are off. Count with a shot straight from kickoff. Screams of LBW from himself and Freezy. Come on guys, that's cricket. There's better ways to make Vic feel involved. The sidemen are popping it about as KSI gets caught in possession. It's all a little bit scrappy to start off with. I don't really know what's going on here. This, this just looks like the special corner, doesn't it? Yep, very special. KSI comes away with the ball, appearing to have redeemed himself. Now what can he do with it? Up. Oh. Yep, the one skill he has in his locker, that flip flap, I've seen that too many times. But now Bazinga comes forward with the ball and your boys are popping it about. Some lovely one-touch football here. Oh, it's all gonna miss, they've lost possession. It's, it's, it's a shambles really. I don't know why any of you are watching this right now. As the ball breaks to player one who has a shot, fantastic stop by Harry. A great save by the young Guernsey goalie who has started off in between the sticks for the boys. Will any aka Shapes coming forward with possession once more and he goes down. That looks like a certain dive to me. But the referee appears to have... Wait, who the fuck is the referee? Look at the simulation. Who the fuck has given that decision? What? No VAR? Oh, oh, that wasn't in the budget. Oh, okay. Well, it appears the boys and bibs are gonna get away with a free kick, which is taken quickly by Melman. Straight through to player one who slots it through the goalkeeper's legs. And the boys and bibs celebrate emphatically as they take the lead. Let's just get a replay of that goal, please. Great composure from player one who's definitely trying to unlock some new boots. Harry with his legs wide open. That's not a good example for your sister. And so the sidemen find themselves 1-0 down early on. Can they get back into this game? KSI in possession in the middle of the field. Shape to shoot, fakes, shoots. Comfortable save by Lawrence. He's definitely not getting troubled by that shot from distance. Simon on the ball now stepping past one and playing it across to Josh who also has a shot but his effort is comfortably saved as well. Bazinga dispossesses Calix and shows ice cool composure to put Melman on skates. Literally a giraffe on ice. Simon now with the ball. Popping it into Josh. He pops it back to Ethan and it's good keep ball from the boys. JJ now in possession in the middle. Ethan lines up the shot but drags it wide of the goal. There we have Vic trying to control the ball. And watching Vic play football is like watching someone play quap. He's just trying to figure out his limbs. Anyway, Simon comes away with the ball out wide. Can't quite do much with it, but he's got it back. Plays it across to Ethan, who lines up another shot. And he's hit Reeve in the ribs with the ball. I'm sure he'll find a way to link that to his PT program. Some nice control from player one in the middle, who's dispossessed by Simon momentarily, but shapes his across to help out. And player one steps away from the challenge with the ball. Goes down the line, has a shot. Great save by Harry. That's better from him. Reeve now having a shot and another good save by Harry pushes that one away. He's hyped about it. KSI coming forward with the ball has a shot and it's another good save. This time at the other end from Lawrence. Vic, Q, W, O, P. Move those limbs. Leading the attack for the bibs again is player one on the dribble. Going out wide. Stepping past Ethan with some fantastic footwork. We know where he spent all his skill points as he does a step over. Plays that across the field to Melman who takes a touch and he's taken the pace out of their attack. And that's now going to break down to nothing. Josh putting in a shift and closing down his man. Shouts of handball as he comes away with possession. Simon popping it back into Josh who takes a touch, takes a shot and finishes into the back of the net. Some dude celebrations. What's, what's, what's this? Oh, we're waiting to find out if it was a handball. But you told me there was no VAR. Oh, it's okay when it suits you. Okay, okay. Well, it looks like that one's not going to count as a clear handball from Josh is spotted on the VAR. The score stays 1-0. JJ coming forward with the ball once more down this right-hand side. Couple step overs to beat the man and oh! Oh, that looked painful. Have you ever seen a man break his own ankles? No? 
Well, you have now. Fortunately, it looks like he's going to be okay as he comes forward with the ball once more. This time, finding a pass to Simon, who has a shot. Another easy save for Lawrence in goal, but it's dropped back to Simon, who finishes into the top right corner of the net. Unstoppable. And what's the celebration? A little roly poly and a. Uh, I don't really know how to describe that second bit, but what a finish. Absolutely unstoppable. The sidemen equalise at last. It's roll on, roll off in this one as Steven tries struts his way onto the field. And we resume play with Skepta's brother, rolling the ball out of his feet to JJ, who's doing some more running, decides to have a go from range, and what a finish. I wish I could compliment the celebration the same way, but I can't. So let's just get a replay of that goal. The space opened up for him, and for once he was absolutely clinical. Off the inside of the post, Lawrence is destroyed. Toby coming forward with the ball now, stopping the ball and appearing to freeze. The mannequin challenge died a long time ago, but he plays it into Simon. Pops a 1-2 with JJ. Is this Simon or Barcelona? Simon has a shot, hits the crossbar. Maybe cross Barcelona. I'm sorry, I had to sneak one shit pun in there. I'm done now, I'm done. The ball's dropped to Josh out wide. He's played it back to Ethan. He steps away from the challenge. All of a sudden, JJ has the ball in the middle. Shakes to shoot again. Tipped onto the post. Simon with the rebound. It's comfortable right now. 3-1. Finally, some action at the other end of the field as Steven tries, shows off some fancy footwork out wide, steps away from Ethan, has a shot, and he scored! Beat Skepta's brother at the near post. I didn't know he had that in his locker. Steven tries, Steven succeeds. Just look at the shot on his face. He has no idea where that's just come from. Now it's Toby on the ball, plays a little pass to JJ and gets it back off him before finding Ethan on the far side. What can he do with it? Steps away from Freezy with a lovely bit of skill and it's a good reflex save from Lawrence. Up the other end though, he's lost possession and player one sneaks in, has a shot, Skepta's brother with the save. A close call there for the sideman. The ball is at the feet of KSI once more in the middle of the field. What can he do? He has a shot again. Surprise, surprise. Up the other end, player one coming forward with the ball. Some lovely step overs, finishes into the back of the net. Playing like a man who wants to unlock a new haircut. Keep going and you just might get it. Goal scorer is on the ball once more as Harry dives in. Those sidemen swimming shorts must have gone to his head. Player one continuing his run down the line with the ball and has a shot. He needs to learn where the A button is. And now the sidemen can counter as Simon turns away from his man with a lovely little like pirouette. Takes it out of his feet, has a shot, smacks the upright. And now Vic and Steven tries to go out for the ball. Have you ever seen anything like it? Guys, I've changed my mind. This is definitely the special corner. Vicstar appears to have finally mastered limb control as he switches the play over to Simon. He steps past his man and then cuts inside onto his right foot, fakes to shoot and finally does and buries it in the back of the net. What celebration has he got for us? Oh, he whips. I guess old habits die hard. <coughs> Moving on. Road to Shaw's in possession of the ball, plays it into Toby. He does a little cheeky skill pass to Vic and oh, that is exactly why I called him Butterfingers. Helpless goalkeeping, but take nothing away from the finish from Vic. He gets his first goal of the day. Okay, yeah, I take it back. Take it all away from him. Yes, Calix, that is shameful goalkeeping. Cover that butter's face. Good boy. The default pro now playing a pass to a more recognisable member of the squad in Will Any, who has a shot from range and it's a comfortable save from the goalkeeper. Simon coming away with the ball now with some nice feet. He plays a reverse pass into Jamie and it's a good save for the feet by Callum. Bibbs on the ball once more. Steven tries to place it back to Freezy who lines up a shot from range and it's a good strong hand to that one by Josh. Harry now finds himself surrounded by three bibs. Where on earth are his teammates? He loses possession and player one has scored again. He appears too tired to celebrate. He probably should have spent more attribute points on stamina as opposed to dribbling. It appears he's not the only tired one, so as we watch these replays, the guys prepare to take a break at half time. The score is 5-4, a close tie. Second half and we've changed sides. Will we see a team take control of this game? Harry in possession of the ball, plays it forward to no one. Steven tries picking up the ball and playing it forward to his teammate Lawrence. Where is the defense? That is sham. Bollock defending as Steven tries pulls his teammate to the ground for a bit of a mad thing. We are all square once more. Well, not all of us. Moving swiftly on, Harry tries to redeem himself with a lovely bit of skill to get past Lawrence and he accelerates down the line. Melman's given up. Harry tries a Rabona cross and, well, it's Harry, isn't it? The ball's up in the air as JJ and Steven go for it and Steven absolutely clattered by the big man. Steven tries, Steven flies, Steven cries. KSI walks over and taunts his victim as Steven can only attempt to pull his shorts down. Absolute nonsense. Vic now dribbling with the ball in the middle of the park and he hasn't fallen over which is a miracle in itself and he's found Harry who has a shot and he's hit the target which is another miracle let alone the miracle of Cal making a save. Wait why are there objects in the... What, what is going on here? 
Oh, and now Harry's handball. Okay, yeah, this has gone to shit. This video is cancelled. Oh, we're playing properly now. Okay, Toby finds Vic with a pass out wide. He takes a touch. Can he finish? Oh, he absolutely rifles that into the back of the net. An explosive finish from the little brown boy. Scenes reminiscent of this year's Sidemen charity match as the boys lift him up in the air in celebration. Not on a real, that's actually a really, really good finish for Vic. I mean, cows in goal, but still, fair play. The Sidemen are back in the lead in this one as Harry runs through and absolutely clatters his man off the ball. And now, Cows rolled it out. JJ following suit, taking out Will and E. It's all gone to shit. It's all a shambles. What is going on right now? Steven's touching up his teammate on the ground. And Will with a late challenge. What am I watching? Somehow Toby's ended up the ball. Some fancy feet to get away from Will. And now he beats Steven with some skill as well. JJ! JJ's come in and stolen. Do you know what? All he's done is steal and shoot today. This isn't a good look for him. I can hear the racist typing in the comments already. And, and look, now he's assaulting Will. Toby comes forward with the ball, stepping away from Steven, playing a pass across the field to Harry, but he drags his shot so far wide that you'd think his mum was sat on a deck chair in the corner. Oh, looks like someone told Steven there's a school nearby. The ball's back in the air and drops to Reeve, who attempts the acrobat. Good save by Ethan. Now the ball's in the corner, courtesy of player one. Wait, what? How, how has he scored from the angle? That is re okay. Okay, well, we're tied at six all now. There's a chance for the sidemen to regain the lead as Simon squares it to Harry, and wow. I have no words to describe finishing like that. Player one coming forward with it now and ooh, close him. JJ not letting him get away with that one. Meanwhile, Josh has remembered he's a Millwall fan and decides to do this to Freezy. Toby thinks it's this FIFA Street as he does a cheeky little flick. Gets the ball back from Josh as a lovely one too. He's got to bag. No, he hits the bag. Cal tips the ball onto one of the objects, blocking the goal. And Will and he decides to praise it. Toby not happy at all. He's given himself a penalty. And how far off his line is he? Surely that's not legal. What, we're just going to ignore that and play on? Okay, okay, cool, cool. Look, look, that's stupid. Who's in charge of refereeing this shit? Ethan coming forward with the ball now. Fake shot, sells the keeper some PPI and finishes into the back of the net. Sublime stuff from Ethan, who celebrates with an awkward floss. That, that's embarrassing, Bez, I'm not going to lie. The fake shot was brilliant, the finish fantastic, the celebration not so much. But at the end of the day it doesn't matter because the sidemen are back in the lead once more. Straight from kickoff there's some confusion in the Bibs camp and I don't know what Freezy's doing but Ethan has the ball, spots Josh making a run, he lifts the ball in the air over to Josh who meets the header with his meat head. Oh he's happy with that one, he's done, he's done. Papa is off the pitch, he's retiring. The Sidemen look to be back in control of this one as Simon rolls away from run, rolls away from two, pauses, fake shots, sells the keeper and finishes. It's a little bit too easy for him, he barely celebrates. Oh, never mind, he hit the R, but it felt more like a nah. Okay, so pause. Honestly, this next clip is incredible. I'm not even going to say anything, I'm just going to let it play out. I am absolutely creasing. Simon dinked it forward to Ethan. He attempted a bicycle kick and he nearly snaps his neck. Like, what is he doing? <laughs> that could have been so bad. He's definitely in a bad state. He's lucky not to be paralyzed because that was a nasty landing. It actually reminds me so much of that one vine. Ethan Payne leaves the pitch in pain. Meanwhile, Vic's just cracking up in his face like he, do he doesn't give two shits. Now KSI with a big kick forward hits the net and above it falls to Harry who has a volley from way out off the crossbar. That would have been absolutely incredible and probably the only good thing he's done all day. Keeper was well and truly beaten. Unlucky Harry. Will and he trying to get the rest of the YouTubers back into the game as he forces a good save from JJ. Jamie with a suspect clearance. Simon's messed up with the skill and well, that was a poor goal to give away. Frustration showing as JJ rifles the ball into the back of his opponent. And he grins as he throws the ball forward to Harry who flicks it over towards Simon. Takes it on the chest. Acrobatic effort. Good save by Kallux. Now we have a pointless guy doing pointless things as Toby does the most useless skill of 2018 before playing the ball forward to Jamie. And guess who's just won the award for worst bicycle kick attempt ever. Blanche with the ball in the corner. Back heels towards Toby. He tries to get by Steven. It's blocked. Freezy lets it run to Will who shoots and finishes. And again, the bibs are back in it. This is stupid. Vic's had enough. He reckons he can do a better job in goal. JJ laughs at how unrealistic that is. And here he is on the ball. That flip flap again. That damn flip flap. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what you get. That's karma, bitch. He's had that coming all game. Freezy coming forward to the ball now, takes a shot from range and Vic eats his words. He was not stopping that. I don't think he's quite figured out where his hands are. Don't even ask about this celebration because I'm just as clueless as you guys. Steven up to his old tricks as he tries to get balls between legs. Now Ethan on the ball, flicking it forward to JJ. He flicks a leg at it. No one really goes for it. I don't really know what's going on. It's like everyone's given up. What is that celebration? Oh, it's the I eat my own shit celebration. I eat my food. <laughs> The sidemen are back in the lead once more. Can they kill this game once and for all? JJ playing it forward to Toby, who has a very decent strike there and extends the lead. Vic has the ball in his hands and opts to throw it forward to Josh, who's out wide. He takes a little look up, dinks it over to Simon. He brings it down, finishing into the bottom corner. He's been very clinical today. Ethan's now back on the field as Simon attempts to find him with this pass. He goes for the bicycle kick. He hasn't learned his lesson, but to be fair, that was better than last time. Meanwhile, Lawrence is coming forward up the other end, spins his man, goes for goal. Black goalie. Simon pulling the strings once more as he attempts to find Ethan. Ethan goes for the bicycle kick again and buries it, and surely that is game over. The biggest lead in a long time. It's 13-9. It seems like that's where they've decided to call it, and thank God because this has been absolutely shambolic. Huge props to you if you've put up with this awful, awful quality of football and my commentary for like 16 odd minutes. Fair play. This one ends Sidemen 13, the other guy's 9 as Freezy leaves JJ hanging, and yeah, he was never going to be happy with that. Go on, don't pussy out, Cal. Stand your ground, stand your ground. Nope. You little pussy all. I'm just staring each other out. This is just weird. This is gonna get weird, isn't it? Yep, yep, it's fucked. Jehovah can't save you when my people turn up. Jehovah can't save you when my people turn the place upside down. Tingo, boom, shaka, laka, laka, make a voice scatter. Turn the place upside down. Tingo, boom, shaka, laka, laka, make a voice scatter. Any given Sunday, I still go to church for my mom's sake. Come on, sin in the week, that we sin, then repeat. Probably do the same thing on a Monday.